Alina Isaac is trying to cook a hodgepodge. She spent the last 10 minutes trying to get over her fears to finally reach in and grab the bottom of one of these jars. Look, she needs to reach in and grab the potatoes, but she hasn't so far. She's refusing. She's got a fancy apron on and she can wipe her hands with it. She wanted to move on to the sausages. We can do that. First of all, though, we need cucumbers. Is anything going to move in this one? How about we find out? This is an aquarium. Do you agree? Yeah. How big is it? Grasp it. It's big. How about you try something right on the top? Just touch something and tell me what's up. I don't get it. I don't know what it is. It's nasty. Stop screaming. Come on. We're all friends here. See? We're friends. Friendship. What's that? It's grass or hay. Keep going. What's under the grass? The hay smells so good. Look at her. She's so careful. This is so scary. For real. What's under the grass, Paulina? Dig through it. Move like a little hamster. <laughs> this might take a while. It's about 38 centimeters tall. This part is wet. She's got through one centimeter. That's about one centimeter per minute. Goodness. Okay, start again. The stuff down there is wet. Is it wet? Well, it doesn't look that bad. You're treating this aquarium like it's a piranha with its mouth open. I don't care about the piranhas. It's wet, is it? It's just wet. In theory, what happens if I don't cook anything? Well, you won't have anything to eat. That sounds reasonable. I'm on a diet. I love taking part in these crazy things. You clearly do, and this is crazy. Paulina Isaac is cooking a hodgepodge here on Extreme Cuisine. Okay, I'm fine. I'm done. Let's go. Screw it. That's the right attitude. This girl is starting to get into it. That's not it. Where is it then? Come on. I'm just throwing this stuff everywhere. Amazingly, though, it doesn't bite. You've noticed that, right? Are you sure it's not going to bite? How could this stuff bite you? Pick it up and hold it, and you'll know. I don't know what's down there. Maybe it's not just grass. It feels like cotton. There you go. Cotton doesn't bite. It's a shame we can't make cotton soup. That's so cool. What's that? It's furry. We finally got to the furry part. Get the furry ones out of there. They're guarding the ingredients. Hit the major chord. Do you think that furry thing is alive then? I don't know. It's a kitty cat. Is it? Do you love cats? Or are you a dog person? I'm more into dogs. Why am I reaching my claws down there too? I'm just trying to speed up the process for you. Get it out of there. What happened? Grisha, you're all covered. Okay, we're not going in this corner anymore. Sure, avoid it. Don't you want to pet the kitty? There's no kitty in there. What are you doing? She's provoking me. She's been doing it this whole time. I'm scared. Paulina, what have you got? What have you found? What's down there? Goodness. Oh my God. Look at the extremities on that guy. Look at the masculinity on this guy. So wait, what's moving around down there? Well, let's see if we can hear them. Sounds like someone's stepping all over the hay. Something is walking around. Look, nothing is going to take your finger off. There's nothing so terrifying. Nikita can see. I can't tell you what it is. I'm just really scared. I'm dizzy. Don't be scared. This is not really scary. You can touch them and you'll be fine. There's no real threat or danger. Not now, for sure, and not earlier. Scream if you're scared, but actually do something after that. Do you believe in me? I do. Just keep moving. Don't stop yourself. Have you ever heard of this thing where you fall asleep, but you're in control? Lucid dreams, I think they're called. I have. How about you pretend that you're in a lucid dream, that you're just about to defeat the most terrifying enemy, yourself? Imagine that. You'll wake up a stronger girl. You'll wake up and be confident in your beauty, in your abilities. You're Polina Isaac. You just beat the Extreme Cuisine Challenge. And the hodgepodge can go screw itself. Let's see. This is definitely not alive. Do you think so? 
Let's take this and use it. What do you think that is? Let's just take it. I'm done with it. We'll take it, whatever it is. We'll cut it. And then we'll go back to potatoes. Sure we will. We'll do everything and we'll be fine. You can take this away now. Good job. She started to give orders.